Hey, Rod from Ram City again. Uh, today we're going to upgrade the hard drive in his HP 530 notebook to a solid state drive. Actually belongs to my other half and she's complaining that it's very slow because she uses it for work. So the first thing is we're going to check the read and write speeds on the existing mechanical drive with this program and that shows we get about 41 megabytes read and about 29 megabytes a second write, which is pretty standard for a mechanical drive. So we should be able to improve that a lot. Before we start copying any data, I'm just going to run CCleaner on this machine, which is a free download that really helps clean up the hard drive, gets rid of all the temporary files and things, make the copy much faster when it comes to copying the data to the new machine. So today you're going to need a little container to hold the screws in. Uh, you're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver, more than likely a PH00, to remove the screws from your laptop case. You might also need a Torx T6 to remove the screws from the existing drive. And last but not least, a data transfer cable. Well, actually, that's the second last thing you'll need. And of course, you're also going to need a solid state drive. This is a Ram City one, but there's plenty of other hard uh, solid state drives in our store. Right, so let's get on with the data transfer. You're going to need to get your solid state drive out of its packaging, if not already. And your data transfer cable also has this Easy Gig CD, which is what we're going to use to copy the data from the internal hard drive to the solid state drive. So as far as setting up goes, you just take your data transfer cable, which is serial ATA to USB. This one's USB 2, there's also USB 3 available. You plug it into the computer on the USB side and then plug the other end into the solid state drive. Obviously you've got your CD in there, which the machine can boot from and then you just turn the machine on. This is a really simple program to use. So you've just got to follow your nose, click the accept button, click the let's get started button. It really is as easy as one, two, three. And you select your source drive, which of course is the internal drive in this case. And then you click on next. And then you select the destination drive, which is the SSD we've got plugged into the USB. Click on next, then you click on next again. There's a few advanced options there. You can make changes if you've got different size drives and you click on a start clone. In my case, I'm going from a small to a large drive. So it's very straightforward to just accept all the defaults. And then you click on the start copying button. And a little while later, the copy will be finished. So we're going to do a fast forward on this one because it takes about an hour. So here we are at the end and the cloning process is complete. So you just click the button to quit Easy Gig, then displays a message reminding you that you need to remove the SSD and cable from the machine. So you just take the cable out of the USB port and remove the data transfer cable from the SSD and then you'll restart the machine and also make sure you remove the disk from the CD-ROM drive. Now that the cloning process is over, comes the fun part. So just disconnect the machine from the power, make sure you've done a full shutdown. And we're going to actually do the swap over of the drives, the original hard drive with the solid state drive. So the first thing is you need to remove the battery from the machine if you can. That'll just ensure there's no residual power. Then we need to remove the panel that gives us access to the hard drive bay. In this case, it's just a couple of screws to loosen. And then using the screwdriver, we just put it in the little slot there and we can lift the panel off. The underside of the panel has some padding, which helps hold the drive in. So now we can see the factory hard drive and there's a little tab attached to one end of the bracket that holds the hard drive. Just need to pull that to release the serial ATA connector. Now, before we move on, I just want to explain something about this bracket that this hard drive has been installed in. Now, there are screws that actually hold the bracket to the drive. You can see there's two there and two on the other side. And normally you'd remove those screws, remove the bracket, and then you'd install the new SSD inside that bracket before you put it back in the machine. But I destroyed two screwdrivers trying to get those screws out, they're pretty much stuck. So we're going to put the new SSD in the machine without that bracket. But usually you should try to 
actually reinstall the bracket back in the machine with the new SSD in it. So now we're going to put our new SSD into the machine. It's just a matter of lining up the serial ATA connector and then pushing in firmly. And then uh, you just get your hard drive access panel and slide it back on. Once the panel is back on, you simply need to reverse the procedure used to remove it. Just tighten the screws back up again with your Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so now that we've rebooted the machine, now from the SSD, oh, it's amazing how much faster it booted. It's probably about a third of the time with the old mechanical drive. Just have a look in the disk management tool. And you can see there we've got the uh, the new C drive and it's just simply been cloned from the old one and with the partitions expanded to fit the drive. And we'll run the Crystal Disk Mark to give us some indication of the performance of the new SSD. Bearing in mind this is a very old machine, it's about seven years old, so it's got quite an old serial ATA controller. But even with an old machine, we can see uh, we can get triple the performance. So we had about 40 read and 30 write before and now we've got 122 and 103 so that's an excellent result and it's a much easier machine to work with performs a whole lot better and you can give it a new lease on life so that's the end of this installation video if you like the video or you have any comments then please put them in the comment section below um, subscribe to our channel because we'll have some more upgrade videos being released soon and thanks for watching